Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. Oh, it's hard for everybody, but the, the fact that uh, he persevered, and a lot of people get sick. That's not unusual. Um, and when, uh, the, when the guy, the other QLA kid, went after his chairman, uh, the chairman had already been part of a deal that had done three or four acquisitions, so it's not, there's no chance that he's going to leave. But the, um, this kid, who is a true snowflake, um, the, um, uh, f that was the, the most discomfort for him. C questions, comments about uh, his process or how he did it? Yes, sir. You only have to know people that know it. The people that are on the board, that's correct. And that's what they're there for. And, but one of the biggest failures, and even though I pound on it, just like I know you're not going to follow the steps, is you don't use the, the board like uh, rented mules. I don't mean mules that carry drugs. I don't mean that kind of a, rented mules uh, that, uh, you, you know, that you use for their knowledge. Most of you f are more comfortable with using your uh, board as a source to do the due diligence. For some reason, you don't mind telling them you got to do this for due diligence, but you do mind asking them for their connections. And they are more reluctant to give the connections because at, after 30, 40, uh, 50 years, not necessarily 50, but 30, 40 years, uh, they don't want the, the last deals that they are associated with to smear their reputation. And you're the, in the beginning, you're going to be the closest to smearing their reputation. But once you've done deals like uh, Andreas, like he's done 12 deals, uh, Andreas came out of the same seminar, uh, and Andreas has done, you know, 27 or 28 deals. So he's done, you know, twice as many. Uh, and, uh, but the Netherlands and the, uh, Germany and, and those countries, um, Germany, they're not lazy, but I mean, for sure in the Netherlands. And the market wasn't big enough uh, in Belgium for him. But he just, you know, he, he followed the, the steps. And, uh, and once you've gotten deals in the funnel, and once you're closing deals and you do diligence on deals, and it's just, you know, just like a conveyor belt. And uh, as he said, the one of the mistakes he made was um, he stopped calling because he, he kept finger farting around with these two deals. And that's uh, another mistake that you make. Uh, or not just, well, everybody makes, not everybody, but almost everybody, because they, they want to close those deals so badly, they stop the prospecting. And it will take you a while in the beginning to differentiate between a prospect and a suspect. A prospect is somebody that will sell you something. A, pro a suspect is somebody that will take your call. Big, big difference. And you will not, for the reason that you, you don't talk like me, you will not say, hey, quit fucking me around, Jack. You just, no matter how many times I say it, it's, it's in the fucking templates, you just won't do it. And you can blame your parents because they raid pussies. Any other questions about, uh, yes, sir? Uh, work on the business, not in the business. What about it? Well, he said that you focus on the macro instead of uh, the ma uh, micro management. Correct. There's a famous book by Michael Gerber. Uh, there's about seven editions of it now, but uh, the book that the whole book is working on the business as opposed to on a macro level. Most of the people work in the business and they're putting out fires and taking care of problems day to day. That's not that's not how you build a, a billion dollar business. You have other people. At that time, he had three uh, uh, regional managers, if you will. Uh, now I think he's got five regional managers. But normally the, the, the clusters, as they're called, or can be called, are uh, they manage three to five businesses. And you manage the people that manage those three to five businesses. It's, I mean, it's, this is business management 101. I mean, this is so simplistic, uh, but not necessarily done. I'm saying it's simple. The concept is simple, but doing it and finding the people to manage those clusters that when they tell you it got done, it got done, and you don't wait till a year from the yearly numbers or the quarterly numbers, however often they report to you to find out it didn't get done. 
So uh, anything else? Um, he, he's doing a good job. Uh, the, uh, the fact that he's created in two and a half years for himself, you know, 20 million is, is, is no big deal, really. But it's 20 million that the graduate, skinny graduate student didn't have before. Plus the money that they've pulled out for transactions. I don't know what a level, level that is. But I mean, they, all the kids, even the kids that have done it poorly, are still making millions, tens of millions. And some of the people you're going to hear in the next few days, hundreds of millions. But it's, they're all following the same steps. There's nothing strange. Yes, sir, in the back. Does moving from Belgium to Netherlands and starting the acquisitions there, is that transition from one business in one country to another, is that difficult? No, it's, just, it's the same business. It's just he couldn't, he couldn't sell. Uh, there's a theory about... Um, when in, in, through Intimidation, the book, uh, which is one of the books I do recommend at the end, by Ringer, the first book that was written in the 70s, that when you come from afar, you're an expert. The fact that Belgium is a little teeny country this big and he's there, they don't consider him an expert. Uh, but the other thing is I, I'm, I'm almost positive he would be more successful in Belgium if he had gone, 500 calls is kind of the benchmark. There's a slide coming up, second, second to last day, where there's three Hall of Famers, one made 1,200 calls before, one made 1,500 calls, and one made 1,800 calls before they did their became a millionaire. Uh, 1,200 is kind of uh, the minimum. Uh, um, Andreas Milner made 1,613 calls. Bruce Whipple made 1,800 calls. The first three, four, five, depending on how smooth you are, and Bruce is, Bruce is pretty smooth. You're under, understanding the um, the yes, the no's, some of the details, not too many of the details. It's not so matter what you answer, it's how you answer. I answer everything like I, I'm a know-it-all. I answer, I may be wrong, but I'm never in doubt. And you're just the opposite. You're in doubt, and you may be right. Self-confidence, self-esteem, etc. Um, don't confuse me with the facts. You're, I mean, and and one of you uh, alluded to why do I get away with this shit? It's because I sound like I know what I'm talking about, and I've always, you know, again, other than athletics. I, but I'm always the most prepared when I go into a room. I've never been in a meeting that I'm not the most prepared person in that fucking meeting. Always, since, you know, I'm high school age. I'm always the most prepared. And normally I fill in for the industry expert. I tell you the things that the industry expert's not telling you. Now, after all these decades, in the beginning, I didn't know shit. I just, you know, I gave the presentation with the fucking numbers upside down, you know, and I got away with it. It's, you know, it's like um, world-renowned actors like Robert De Niro and all these guys, uh, they're insecure little shits. But when they get on the stage, a different persona comes out. Well, that persona is 100% with me. I'm, I'm that persona. And I, when I used to get in fights, you know, let's say there's seven, eight of you. Unless, some, unless one of you cocksuckers is Bruce Lee, there's going to be a lot of people getting hurt here, and they're all you. That's what I used to say. And depending on what uh, hood I was in, and unless one of you's got a knife and knows how to use it, I'm going to shove it up your ass. And then I'm going to go home and shut up, shove it up your mother's ass. And that got me out of 90 plus percent of the fights. But you got to have some degree to back that shit up. But in almost everybody that's come through this seminar in 28 and a half years, except the cartel guys and a few others, gangsters, you know, that's just the antithesis. But that's how my dad was. 
you know. I was afraid of my dad. I mean, afraid, afraid of my dad. He was an old man. And my kid brother, who is 14, 15 years my junior, my dad was all decrepit. Well, not decrepit. I mean, he was an old fuck, old fucker. I mean, the kids were afraid of dad. And, and so the, uh, that persona's carried over for me. But all the guys that I, you know, the big guys that I've been around, and when I went to this funeral recently, and they had, you know, several billionaires there, uh, the, uh, they still carry themselves, even though they're in their 80s, late 80s, like they can take care of business. And I know for a fact they're all, they can't bend over when they drop a napkin on the ground. And, and, the, uh, and you don't make this transition overnight. You don't make it over weeks. I mean, Andreas, and he's listening, now after two and a half years, I mean, 25 deals, shit, he's, you know, he's made tens of millions of dollars, euros for himself. He carries himself differently. But right, you know, but right now, you, you, by the end of the seminar, you will have the words vis-a-vis -vis the templates. And by the time you get down to the seminar, and this, the, 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 I always wonder, why don't the motivated sellers listen to these fucking YouTubes? So they can get better. So make a job harder for you. They're cunts. They're bigger cunts than you. The, the, the irony is they're more afraid than you are, which took me 10, 15 years to figure out. I couldn't understand it. I wouldn't buy a book of matches. You couldn't give me sex. Yet they sell to you. That's the fucking irony of it. But it works. There's no question it works. It's just, will it work for you? The answer is yes. <sighs> when you put it into practice. But it's not going to work for you by osmosis, you know, not just sitting there and looking at them. I mean, you, you, you have to, you know, get the words out of your mouth. And it works virtually every place on the, on the planet with four or five exceptions. Russia, Ukraine, and I made it work in Russia. I would not, well, now, of course, it's pretty obvious, but I never recommended anybody go to Russia. I made it work. Well, why can't, well, you're not me. I made it work in Russia. I found it easy. Any questions about the, the Belgian waffle? Okay, YouTube, goodbye.